guys, little change of scenery in today's video. I'm sitting back in front of my window because natural light makes the subject of today's video pop a little bit more. We're talking about hair. I mean, we're talking about my hair specifically. I got a change. I added some color and so I wanted to talk about the process because a lot of you may know I have extensions and I have had them for years. I have a couple of videos where I talk about the process. I have Amore extensions, they're tape-ins, and so I have a couple of videos where I walk you through the process, um, getting them done the first time, what you can expect after that. So I won't go through any of that here today. This is mostly going to be about the purpleness that my extensions are in the process of getting them to what I think they call like fashion colors because it's my first time ever doing this like with extensions or otherwise. So I wanted to talk you through the experience, especially if like me, you have naturally darker hair and you would love to play with these bright, bold, colorful shades, but don't want to bleach your hair. These extensions are a great alternative. So let's go ahead and dive in. So in case you're curious or in the Dallas area and looking for a salon that does these extensions, I go to Salon Jonas. It's an Aveda salon and you have to, I think you have to find an Aveda salon to get Vamore extensions because they are an extension line exclusive for Aveda. My stylist there is David. He is awesome. I would highly recommend him if you're interested in Vamore's. Before going to him, I was actually kind of always under the impression from previous stylists that Vamore was supposed to be more about achieving natural looking volume volume to thin or thinning or fine hair. The key about it though being natural and ever since going to him he is all about customization. He's not afraid to play around obviously. I had blonde extensions before this and we just updated those to do this today so highly recommend him if you're interested but also if you are currently doing the more extensions don't be afraid to ask to do a little bit something different because he totally opened my eyes to the possibilities with what you could do with these. Okay now let's finally get into how we got into this purple situation that we're in right now. So like I just mentioned, I had kind of honey colored blonde extensions mixed in with my hair to give it um, some more natural looking highlights. And I'd actually had those back when my hair was pretty long. So pre fall, like pre Thanksgiving, I, I guess I've had these extensions for almost a year at this point. And they started off long, then we chopped my hair, he chopped the hair along with it. And it didn't need any color maintenance or upkeep. The most I would ever do is use a blue uh, hair mask to help brighten it up and keeping the blonde from looking brassy. I will link the uh, mask that I use below, but I also have a video talking about how I kind of wash and work with my hair, especially having blonde extensions in with my natural brunette color. So to get this color, we didn't have to use any new or lighter hair. He actually just used the existing honey extensions I had, lifted that color a little bit before he re-dyed them with the vibrant shades that I have, just to make them hold a little bit better and make them look even more vibrant on the hair. The color that he used is from the Aveda Vibrance collection and they have so many colors in this collection. I chose kind of a magenta-y purple just because I figured as someone who loves playing with a lot of different shades of makeup, it would be complementary to most of the shades I naturally wear. I've kind of hazily green eyes, so they bring up the green there. I just thought it'd be the most flattering pick for me, but the Vibrance collection has so many, like a chartreuse was in there, you know, like vibrant silver, deep blue, sea, ocean, like teal blue. It's everything under the sun that you could ever want. You don't have to just go with purple or pink. And that variety is also really good for making sure you can get a lot of depth and dimension in the hair that you're dyeing. So in the inspiration pictures that I kind of brought to show him for what I was thinking of, I had actually envisioned kind of a mixture of pink and purple just to keep it all from looking like I just had chunks of purple or, or of one color in my hair. And so what he actually did is he mixed three, well, two colors to make three shades, iris, and azalea. And so I have a picture of here where he has separated the hair into the different, slightly different colors that he dyed. And that really gave the hair that I have a little bit more depth to keep it from looking just flat. So beyond that dyeing process, the appointment was exactly the same. He took the extensions I had out, washed my hair, lifted the color from my old extensions, re-dyed them with the purple, dried them, and then reinstalled them in my hair. We did the installation a little bit differently just in terms of extension placement this time around because the purple is so dramatically different from this hair color. We kept it a little bit more sparse here up front. So I think unlike where I, I used to see a lot of blonde around like framing my face before, there's a little bit less purple there this time. And instead you can see it more so when you look at the side and down the back, which I really like, especially this time around, because I'm not going to lie. I was, a, I was a little nervous as he was putting these in and they were so brightly colored purple. And like I said, it's the first time I'd ever had a color like this in my hair. I thought, 
maybe this is the wrong thing, maybe it's gonna be too loud, too not me. And so I like that there's just a hint of them peeking forward around my face, and then most of the drama and the color is kind of here in the back so that it's not always there, like front and center. And yet when I put it up in like a ponytail or, you know, just up higher, that's when you really see like that shock of purple hair. I love it. In terms of care and maintenance, it's actually not that different from what I'm doing before. David didn't recommend using a color safe shampoo. He just said to keep the heat on any styling tools you use, like 350 and below. I should be good there. I, I kind of have a habit of singeing my hair when I forget to think about it. But luckily, uh, one of the perks of having better hair as extensions is that it kind of trains my natural hair to curl around it. So I can style my hair and the extensions on a lower heat level than I normally would just my natural hair alone. And it not only curls easier and faster, but it also holds its shape and style just because the extensions kind of train, you know, my hair around it and keep it there. Otherwise, this, these curls would just be like flat on my head right now. But beyond that, nothing else really has to change. He says he's had clients where he's done colors like this on. They've gone, you know, the normal eight to 10 weeks that you would go in between getting your extensions refreshed. And there is like slim to no fading in the color. So I will definitely keep you posted if you're curious. Let me know if you have any additional questions. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Besides that, guys, that's it. That's kind of my update on my hair. I hope you found it useful. I hope if you were interested in hair color alternatives that don't require you to bleach your natural hair. I hope this was useful for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye guys!